Alright, so we are framed up. Alright guys, so I decided to make this video because I was struggling to shoot YouTube videos by myself. So this product right here is going to enhance your ability to shoot solo YouTube videos. Now it's not only for shooting solo YouTube videos, in fact it actually has a wide range of use. But for me personally, I got this to shoot solo YouTube videos. But without further ado, let me go ahead and introduce you guys to the Shimbal Wireless TP Mini. Now that was definitely a mouthful. Alright, so the Shimbal Wireless TP Mini is a set that comes with a transmitter and a receiver. And the first thing we have here are two stickers. Alright, so we got these two dragon stickers right here. We have a... Um, Looks like it's a company card. I'll show, you guys, I'll show you guys that because it has a um, QR code on it. And we have our instruction manual right here. So inside we have our transmitter and our receiver. And I won't lie to you, they look very similar. To be honest, um, how you can probably tell them apart is that the RX right here is for the receiver and the TX I'm assuming it's gonna be a TX. Yeah, the TX right here is for transmitter. So they are actually very similar. What I'd say is if you do get one of these, it definitely makes a lot of sense to actually get some tape to just identify them differently because they're very hard to distinguish between each other. In fact, they have the exact same buttons on it. What else do we have here? We get a USB A to USB C cable right here. And okay. So those are all the things that we have inside of our package for our Shimbal wireless transmitter set. Now right here connected to my monitor is actually the receiver and the transmitter is over there on my camera. So the purpose of something like this is what it's gonna do is it's gonna take the signal from your camera and send it to a monitoring device. The beauty of it is it doesn't have to be a small monitor like this. I actually tested it and it works with like, you know, TVs, basically anything that has an HDMI input can receive input from this. So your laptop, your TV, a small monitor like this. But for me, I think it's gonna be like super crucial for shooting YouTube videos. So I shoot a lot of videos by myself. I don't have an assistant a lot of the times. So it's hard for me to kind of frame up shots. So with this now, I can basically have it right here and see exactly how I look. I mean, I'm gonna spend most of the time talking directly to the camera, but it's nice to have and frame up the shot. And especially if you wanna get those really cinematic shots, it's cool because I actually don't usually have it on a light stand. I usually have it on its own. So let me just take this off and kind of show you guys how I usually roll. Hopefully I don't make this thing fall. All right, let's stay safe. All right, boom. So what I usually do guys is I have this right here. Um, you know, look at my shot, frame it up. Obviously I won't have a light stand there, but yeah. Look at my shot, frame it up, and then hide this somewhere in the frame. So I personally love wide shots. I, I like wide, really cinematic shots. So I don't always wanna have to be like a close talking head. I mean, if I was gonna like really experiment with a video like this, I'd probably have the camera like somewhere there, have it really low, you know, a really nice low angle. So it's easy to kind of see exactly how I wanna position and frame it. I just put this somewhere else and it's all the shot. So basically, this has been like a major lifesaver when it comes to YouTube videos. With Sony cameras, they have an app called In Imaging Edge. But for me personally, it wasn't working out very well in trying to use Imaging Edge to um, basically to see what my camera was doing. The downfall is that this does not allow you to control the camera. So you still have to press the record button and kind of position it up. But trust me, like being able to see my shot clearly and seeing exactly what's on the screen, absolute lifesaver. So I'm just go ahead and attach this back on. Um, yeah, one second guys. Boop, 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 boop. All right, so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna show you how easy this thing is to use because trust me, it being easy to use is actually a major reason why I actually got it. Let's position it up. And focus up our camera. All right, perfect. Let me pull you back a little bit so you guys can see. And just twist. All right, so I'm gonna have to record both this on my phone just so I can kind of show you how easy it is to use because trust me, you'll be surprised that you're not really do having to do much. All right, so starting off the iPhone video, all you have to do is basically purchase an HDMI to whatever um, output your camera has. So right now this is HDMI to HDMI, goes into the transmitter, right? 
see it's recording on my camera right here and then you have your monitor over here with the receiver and then pretty much um, you know you connect it to this part right here it's going to be a what is it now it's an HDMI out so we connect our HDMI out into the monitor right here and yeah pretty much good to go there is no complex pairing you don't have to press any special buttons once you just um, plug and play it's really simple to use there's no advanced learning curve so it's going to be super easy for beginners to actually just get this and start shooting right away beauty of it is even though i'm using it specifically for um youtube solo shooting it's actually good enough to use on client work like personally i would take this on um client jobs like for me particularly see if i can frame myself back up <laughs> uh, where can i put myself doot, doot. okay perfect <laughs> See if I can move this camera to the way. One second, guys. Do, 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 do. All right, I think I should be good over here. Uh, yeah, all right, perfect, yeah. Pardon? Oh, no, not good. Yes, as I was saying, the beauty of it is it's not something that I'd only use for YouTube solo shooting. It's actually pretty professional enough to use on client work. Now, total transparency, I would not use this to pull focus. There's a decent delay, and for pulling focus, you're really gonna wanna have something that is, you know, not very delayed. You wanna have something that's very accurate. If you guys don't know what pulling focus is, it's basically where you're shooting like a movie or maybe like professional work, and one person is operating the camera and another person is going to be focusing this has a decent delay so it's not going to be great for movements like that where this thing shines is if maybe you have a client on your set and you don't want to have your client directly behind your camera watching every single thing that you're doing you're just like hey take this obviously give them a bigger monitor if you're going to use it like for a client monitoring system i'd say use like a big um like a decent size screen maybe like a 20 inch or something you know, have them on a little client chair. It's gonna, it's gonna make your stuff feel a lot more professional. Let's give them that kind of, you know, experience. Like, you know, you're shooting, you could be all the way over there. This thing goes up to 600 feet, I believe. And personally, you don't need to shoot 600 feet. Like for me, I'm not gonna go 600 feet. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna test it so you guys can see when it starts breaking up. But yeah, like, honestly, this is a real cheap piece of gear that is gonna drastically enhance your um your work whether that is in helping you to frame your shots better or something as simple as making your stuff look more professional because if i'm a client on set and you know instead of me having to be like looking on a small screen right behind my videographer if i'm able to actually just get a monitor for myself i'm gonna feel like yo this guy eh, definitely knows what he's doing so look into that all right so finally the big test right here is i'm gonna actually take this and start walking away and tell you guys when exactly it breaks up I'm not gonna make this a super technical thing, like I'm not gonna give you X amount of feet, because I mean, seriously guys, this is not that kind of thing. Like, I'm not that person that's gonna give you, you know, if you want the most highest super technical video, there's other channels that do that. I just wanna give you like a real life case, a real life use scenario as someone that is actually shooting, um, not just technical mumbo jumbo, because lots of times you hear all these numbers, bells and whistles, and they don't mean much to you. The main thing is, does it work from a decent range? Uh, I'm gonna actually turn my microphone to record just in case um, my mic chips out. So yeah, let me actually start walking and see. Oh, you know what? Let me position this thing in the middle of the road so you guys can actually see me walking away. All right, so I have this thing and we're walking. Can you guys see Sasuke in the background? Like for anybody that's a Sasuke fan, let me know in the comments. You know, big Naruto fan right here. We're walking, we're walking, we're walking. Still no jumping in the signal. Um, I have direct line of sight. No, and I mean, honestly guys, this is a very wide shot. You need to go wider than this. Still walking. No, okay. All right, so there was a jump just now. At this, this, and let me turn around. I noticed a small jump, but actually it just jumped for a second. No, it jumped again, actually. All right, so from this distance right here, 
which to give you guys context, I am using a 50 millimeter. So this is a really wide shot for a 50 millimeter. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty far back, to be honest. So let me see if I can walk a little closer and show you where. All right, so from right here, not getting any lags. And again, this is not a wide lens. I'm using a 50. So if I was using an even wider lens, I could really compose with some super wide shots. And personally, I don't think you need to be this far back from your camera. I don't know actually how much feet this is, but again, I look tiny in the frame and this is not a um, wide lens. It's so coming up back now. Do 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 boop 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 Woo! Yo, walking around with light stands is not easy. Guys, if you're trying to get like fit, let's be a videographer. Like, you might not have like a small stomach, but those arms, like, yo, those guns, bro. But anywho, final thoughts. If you are solo YouTube shooter and you're trying to, you know, enhance your composition, you're trying to maybe impress clients, I'm gonna highly recommend this thing right here. It is really, really helpful. It's something that I use um, a lot, actually, surprisingly. And it's fairly cheap. It's less than $100. And yeah, it really can enhance your overall um, performance. And if it's something you don't like, it's not like, oh, I waste way too much money on this. So definitely check it out. Just a quick disclaimer, guys. Do not get this to full focus. Don't try. Like, it is very laggy. And when I say very laggy, it's not like 10 seconds behind. But the thing is, when you're focus pulling, even a second is very vital. So it has a decent lag and it's not going to be great for that. If you guys have any questions about the Shimba Wireless TP Mini, let me know in the comments. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video, the YouTube algorithm says you're going to love this video right here.